Movie Feuds is sponsored by Techno Rebit. All music is available for free download. Viral Addicted Generation. We promote your viral content. Comp Nation. Service with a good attitude. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds, the show that lets you decide some of the biggest debates in movie history. This week, it's Kevin McAllister versus Kevin McAllister. That's right, Home Alone 1 versus Home Alone 2. We're bringing another versus episode to you. Home Alone 2 is basically the replica of Home Alone 1, and I can tell you one thing, I loved Home Alone 1 a lot more than the second one. In the second one, the situation... That's your point you're starting with? It's a replica of number one, but you like number one more? It's Home Alone 1 times two. In the second movie, the situations are more unrealistic, the robbers are dumber, and the parents get more negligent. I don't know how this can get any worse. I'm not going to argue that Home Alone 1 is good. It's just that Home Alone 2 is like a recipe that's been perfected by my grandma. It's got all the right spices, a dash of great, and you get a perfect sequel. If it's a recipe like your grandma's, it must be off the back of a cereal box. Why? Because... You don't know my grandma. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know your grandma. I'm sure she's a nice lady. She is. Home Alone 1 was original and funny. The second one just kind of played off the first one with nothing added to it. I mean, you've got the same pranks, you've got you know, the same actual like gangster movie with the Tommy gun. I mean, you've got nothing new and original here. All you've got is like, even poorer acting than the first movie. Times two. Oh wait, that doesn't benefit what... No. no. Not to mention that you should know Home Alone 2 was worse than the first one when you saw a Rob Schneider cameo. Alright, Corey's gonna attack characters from Home Alone 2, that's fine, whatever, Rob Schneider's in it, big deal. Otherwise, the characters are basically, you know, the same from the first two movies. Minus that little subplot with the old man from the first one, which is really lame, old man with Marley or something. You substitute that with the pigeon lady in Central Park. That's not good either. There's a subplot going on in both movies, but actually I'll give you this, I'm actually shocked that they brought the, back the entire family. It's rare to see that in, in sequels, and you know, I'm kind of glad they did that, although you know this family in itself was kind of behind the scenes the entire time. It's rare to also see a sequel that's better than the original, so bravo on that too. Home Alone 2 was unrealistic for me. I don't even know, I mean, no, they don't explain how Marvin and Harry even get to New York. All of a sudden they're in a toy store and then they bump into Kevin just outside this toy store. It's New York City, one of the largest cities in the entire world. His own family has lost him twice, but they find him in the second day that they're even there. You're debating the realism of these movies? I mean, these guys get nail guns shot into their face, bricks thrown at their head, their nose shattered by paint buckets. I mean, what do you want? That's exactly my point. All of that happens the first time around, and yet at least in the first movie they actually scope out the house, they go there, it just happens that Kevin's there in the house by himself, they thought everybody was going to be gone. There's a realistic aspect to why the movie even exists in the first place. I'm just going to let the clips do the talking. There's a flotilla of great scenes. A what? Let's, let's, a flotilla? Let's get right to it. You got the awesome the shower scene where he sets up the dummy guy. You got the best scene is the airport scene where they got the bags and they're passing it along and then the mom freaks out. Kevin's not here. 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 What? In the epic closing battle, Kevin against his two uh, arch rivals again. He's throwing bricks at him, he's dropping tool chests down the stairs, he's soaking ropes in kerosene. This is awesome! That was my, that was my Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> We've already discussed that everything that happens in Home Alone 2 has already happened in Home Alone 1. You've got the staple gun versus the nail gun. You've got, instead of electrocuting him, you've got the burning his hand. Bob, I don't care. Who Let cares? Him. Let it happen again. It's hilarious. But the thing is, in Home Alone 1, he's got an entire day to plan out. He's got this battle plan. He lays it out on the table. In the sequel, he's got like three hours to plan this. And all we see is this montage of him sawing up things and dipping his rope in kerosene and all these crazy things. I felt like I was watching MacGyver towards the end of this movie. 
Corey's clearly a little too hung up on the Kevin character, but, you know, it's times two. Like I've said before, I'll say it again, it's double mint gum. This movie's got it all in spades. David Spades. I guess I just like a natural one throw on the holidays, and, you know, Adam, I guess, just likes parental negligence and credit card fraud and identity theft. So, Home Alone 2 is your, is your flick, but... Um, actually, we're going to leave it up to you, so let us know what you think about each movie. We've got Home Alone 1 on one side, yes. Home Alone 2 on the other. Another Christmas in the trenches. No? Nothing? Okay. But this is more than just reviews, this is movie feuds. What? What is that, the new tagline? You just changed it up? Uh oh, just... producer didn't tell you? No? Well, I'm trying to get you off the show for a while. You know, I guess I just like a warm, natural warmth around the holidays. And... Warm, natural warmth. <laughs> a candlelight vigil. <laughs> Well, Corey's obviously diving way too much into this Kevin mythos. Um, mythos? <laughs> I, don't, I just want to say mythos. How many words are you going to make up I just this want to say on? mythos. That's a word. It's like mythology. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mathos, ethos, mythos. It's all, it's all the same to you. Let us know what you think. Fuck. <laughs> Pause for drama? <laughs> well, I was going to say, let us know what you think. Let us know what you think. <laughs> this week on Movie Feuds. <laughs>